Cinderella and the Glass Sneaker by Bernice Myers. Sidney Rella was the youngest of Mr. and Mrs. Rella's children. Each morning, his mother and father would go off to work in their small store. Each afternoon, his brothers would go off to football practice in the local park. And each day after school, Sydney was left to do the chores. We all have our jobs to do, his mother would say. Today, his brothers were trying out for the town football team. But when Sydney Rella begged to go with them, they only laughed. <laughs> You're too small to play. And besides, who want you on the team? Cinderella wished more than anything else in the world he could play on the team. But how can I? I always have so much work to do. A small person hiding behind a bush motioned to Sidney Rella to come closer. Psst. Sorry I couldn't get here sooner, he said. I was helping a friend get a poor girl ready to go to a princess ball. Boy, does she have two ugly sisters, and I mean ugly. Spring is a busy season for wishing. What with all the school exams, football games, stock market losses. Now, what was it that you were wishing for? Oh, yeah, a new milking machine. team, but I have so much work I'll never finish in time. The small man waved his wand. There was a sudden flash. When Sidney opened his eyes, the porch was swept, the floors were swept, the dishes were washed, and the dog was half asleep. Sidney Rella asked. I'm your fairy godfather. I'm here to make sure that you go to the ball. I mean the football trials. So go. But Sidney Rella didn't move. I have no uniform. That's easy to fix. Bring me a tomato, a pineapple, and a pear, the small man said. And with a wave of his wand, the fruit was changed into a beautiful uniform. in a football uniform, Sidney Rella complained. You're right. I should have used a carrot instead of a pear. Next time. Hey, make sure you're home by six o'clock or your clothes will disappear off your back. Sidney Rella was home long before six o'clock. He was all excited. His fairy godfather was waiting for him. I made the team, Sidney shouted. Terrific, said his godfather. He waved his wand and Sidney Rella had on his own clothes again. Then his fairy godfather disappeared. At dinner that night, the two brothers could only talk about football practice and the new player who could run as fast as the wind and catch a football as easily as breathing. Sidney quietly ate his soup. The following week after school, Sidney Rella was helping his brothers put on their uniforms. Well, today's the big game, kid. <laughs> Too bad you won't be there. No sooner had they gone than Sidney Rella's fairy godfather appeared. First, he made sure all the work in the house was done. Now, let's see what the book says for a football uniform. A large pumpkin and four mice? Nah. That's for a footman and a golden carriage. Here it is, football uniform. I'll need a carrot and a tomato and two bananas for your glass sneakers. Sidney Rella returned with his arms full. His 
Godfather waved his wand and Sidney Rella stood fully dressed in the most beautiful sparkling football uniform and glass sneakers. Again, his fairy godfather warned him, be sure to be home by six o'clock or your beautiful uniform will disappear. At the ball field, the stands were full. Sidney Rella took his place in the lineup. Each time the football was passed to him, he ran for a touchdown. During the last minute of play, the clock in the tower struck six. Sidney ran with the ball for a final touchdown and kept right on running till he reached home. At dinner, his brothers could only talk about the game and the mysterious player who had won the trophy for their town. In his underwear, no less. The coach is going from house to house now looking for the player whose foot fits the sneaker, a brother said. When the coach arrived at Dorella's house, the sneaker didn't fit either of Sidney brothers. As the coach was about to leave, he saw Sidney Rella hiding behind a chair. How about you, young man? Oh, don't bother with him, said one brother. He can't play football <laughs> or even catch, said the other. But the coach insisted. I must try the sneaker on everybody. Sidney Rella tried on the glass sneaker. His foot slid right into it. It also matched the other sneaker. The coach invited Sidney Rella to attend a special dinner that very evening where the mayor presented him with a gold trophy. Sidney Rella grew up to be one of the best football players in the country. He went on to law school and became a famous judge. And then president of a large corporation that manufactures laces for footballs, D.N. And you can see on the next page that this story reminds you of what other story? Cinderella. Bye, boys and girls.